Don't touch that dial. Watch this exciting scene from today's four-part story of Underdog. Here it comes now. It took some time, but was worth the wait. The Leaning Tower is standing straight. Underdog, Simon Bar Sinister has dumped his tickle feathers on the whole country. Everyone is laughing and no one will vote. You must do something. When the country is in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away we go. <laughs> the whole country is laughing so hard. The most wicked man in the world was Simon Bar Sinister, and it was Simon's ambition to rule the world. To do this, he tried many terrible schemes, but each time he was stopped by Underdog. One time he invented shrinking water. <laughs> One squirt of this, and a six-foot man becomes six inches high. Simon says, shrink. <laughs> oh, I'll be the biggest man in the world. But before Simon could shrink everybody in the world, he was stopped by Underdog. Still another time, Simon invented the weather machine. Simon says, thunder, lightning, rain. <laughs> oh, the whole world. But Underdog stopped him. Then Simon invented the fiendish snow gun that turned people into snowmen. Simon says, go snow. But even as Simon was taking over the world, Underdog attached... Go Snow! Go Snow! But Underdog moved around so fast that Simon got dizzy and... Next, Simon invented the forget-me-net. Simon says, forget it. What's your name? 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 But just as he was about to drop a forget-me-net on Washington, D.C. There's got to be a better way to rule the world. See, look there. Election posters. Vote for Smith. Vote for Jones. Vote for Brown. Vote, vote, vote. That's it. <laughs> I run for dictator. And then when I'm elected, I'll be in complete control. <laughs> And so the campaign began. Everywhere, old posters were torn down and new ones were put up. Beautiful. Simon the Dictator. Vote for Simon. He's true blue. He will do a lot for you. All right, Cad. Now we'll make this election campaign a big success by going right to the people. Pardon me, madam. I would like you to vote for me for dictator. Dictator? I wouldn't vote for you for dog catcher. Good morning, my good man. I want you to vote for me for dictator. You? You're Simon Barr Sinister, the wickedest man in the world. Nobody's got to vote for you. Gee. <laughs> Ah, a busy little housewife. Madam, I am Simon Bar Sinister, and I am running for dictator. Would you vote for me? Hmm? It's no use, boss. Nobody's going to vote for you. Not quite. I know two people who are going to vote for me. You are, and I am. Yeah, but you can't win with only two votes. I can if they are the only two votes cast. All we have to do is fix it so that nobody else votes. <laughs> yes. Come, I have a plan. What is Simon's plan? Can he really stop people from voting? There's plenty of excitement ahead in our next episode. Simon and Bar Sinister had decided to get elected dictator, but quickly found that no one would vote for him. <laughs> Who cares? I'll fix it so no one will vote but you and me. And then I'll win by two votes. How are you going to make sure no one else votes, boss? With one of my diabolical machines. We'll test them on you. There's our voting booth. All you have to do is go in and pull the lever and... You voted. Now I'll shoot you with one of my diabolical machines and see if you can vote. Simon says, sneeze. Versus it failed. 
Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Now, Cat, Simon says, cry. <laughs> Another failure. Well, back to the old drawing board. All right, Simon says, relax. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Won't anything stop you from voting? Let me see. Hmm, you should do it. Simon says, stand on your head. <laughs> He'll never vote that way. He can't even reach the lever. <laughs> Stop people from voting. Hey, boss. There must be someone. Hey, boss. Meanwhile, things were going on in other parts of the world. The Leaning Tower. He's going to crash. Get underdog. And far away on the other side of the world, underdog's amazing hearing had already picked up the cry for help. When towers are falling, I am not slow. So it's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Underdog! Underdog! You've got to come right away. At the moment, sweet Polly, I'm riding this tower. It may fall again without my power. But Simon Bar Sinister is trying to get elected dictator. Let Simon rave and let him gloat, but he won't get a single vote. But what if he invents one of his diabolical machines? And that's exactly what Simon had finally done. Here it is, my greatest invention. The Tickle Feather Machine. Simon says, laugh. <laughs> well, aren't you going to vote? <laughs> yeah, well, what, 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 what? I'm happy. Happy. I'm happy to win fun to vote. <laughs> It works! It works! <laughs> Get everybody laughing so hard, they won't want to vote. Then Cat and I will vote for me, and I'll be elected dictator! Will the Tickle Feather Machine work on everyone? Will Simon be elected dictator? There's a thrilling time ahead in our next exciting episode. You'll see all of this underdog adventure complete on today's show. And in weeks to come, you'll be seeing exciting scenes like this.
that we should all... <laughs> and a short time later, Sweet Polly Purebred was out on the street interviewing voters. Are you going to vote for Silent Bar Sinister? I wouldn't vote for him if he was the last man on Earth. And you, sir, for whom are you going to vote? You vote? <laughs> I'm, having, I'm having too good a time to bother voting. <laughs> Isn't that strange? How about... <laughs> Are you going to vote? <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, I might have known Simon Bar Sinister. Simon says, laugh! <laughs> I must tell Underdog. Underdog, Simon did it. He's using a gun that makes people laugh so hard they won't vote against him. There are millions of voters. He can't shoot them all. If it looks like he's going to, then give me a call. Boss, oh, you can't shoot all the voters. There's millions of them. You're right. We'll have to go into mass production. There, millions of my magic tickle feathers. We'll dump them all over the land and have everybody laughing. Simon says, laugh, laugh! It took some time, but was worth the wait. The leaning tower is standing straight. Underdog, Simon Bar Sinister has dumped his tickle feathers on the whole country. Everyone is laughing and no one will vote. You must do something. When the country is in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away we go. The whole country is laughing so hard, no one will vote. Now, you and I will cast two votes and elect me dictator. Those two votes you will not cast. Underdog is here at last. Yes, Simon. Underdog will stop you. You'll never get elected dictator. Simon says, laugh. Hold on, Simon. This is no laughing matter, and I will... Simon says, laugh! Will the tickle feather tickle underdog? And if he starts laughing, who can stop Simon? The answers lie ahead in our next exciting episode. Simon had shot a, a tickle feather at underdog to make him helpless with laughter. It's just plain silly, don't you see? Your feather will not tickle me. <laughs> Now everybody is helping. No one can stop us. We'll both vote for me. There. Two votes for Simon Bar's sinister for dictator. No votes for anybody else. Therefore, I have legally been elected dictator. Everybody has to do what the dictator says. Yeah, but who are you going to dictate to? Everybody's laughing. Simple. I'll make them stop laughing. I'll use my vacuum gun. Bring me a banker, a builder, a chef, and a, oh yes, sweet Polly Purebred. <laughs> Simon says, stop laughing. <laughs> I have legally been elected dictator. You must do exactly as I say, or I'll have you thrown in prison. You, banker, bring me all the money in the bank. You, builder, build me a great palace. You, chef, make me the most marvelous meals in the world. And you, sweet Polly, put on a spectacular TV show for my entertainment. Yes, oh, detector. Well, get going. <laughs> Nothing can stop me. <laughs> and entertainment. Do the bongo congo. First you form a line. Rocking to the rhythm. Makes you feel so fine. Now you form a circle. Take a turn inside. You'll find bongo congo. Like a circus ride. But where was underdog? <laughs> <laughs> I've been laughing loud and long. Now I must find out what's going on. Quickly, his X-ray vision and computer brain told him what was happening. And being a true hero, he instantly sprang into action. Do the bongo congo. First you form a line. Rocking to the rhythm. Makes you feel so fun. Underdog! There's 
There's no need to fear. Underdog is here. But, Underdog, we have to do what Simon says. He was legally elected. No, he was not. Please take note. Simon isn't registered to vote. <laughs> That's right. Simon and Cad weren't registered, and therefore their votes don't count. We don't have to do what Simon says anymore. He wasn't legally elected. <laughs> I'll take back all this money. I'll tear down the palace. What's going on here? Where's my tickle feather gun? Now you, Simon says, laugh. No, 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 no. <laughs> then Underdog, using his atomic breath, blew all the tickle feathers right off the face of the earth. And once more, people said, Look in the sky. It's a plane. It's a boy. It's a frog. A frog? Not plane, nor bird, nor even frog. It's just little old me. <laughs> Underdog. Now, as our hero of heroes goes about his everyday good deeds, we're glad to know that in today's story, somehow, Underdog came through again. But what about next week? Here's a scene from next week's show. Let's jump them all together. Can't get us all. That's it. Race them all at once. When the earth needs milk, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go.